Hello everyone, welcome to Electrical Installation and Maintenance Class and I'm your teacher Alex P. Ulep. In this video, I will going to discuss to you the common electrical symbols used in making or drawing an electrical diagram or electrical plan. So please watch this video till the end. Electrical symbols are small drawing or pictograms used to represent various electrical devices in a diagram or plan of an electrical circuit. These symbols are used in sketching schematic diagram and electrical plans for numerous types of electrical works. Practically, any electrical fixture found in a house has a symbol that coincides to said fixture on an electrical wiring diagram. These are very useful guide for an electrician or electrical contractor thus making the wiring easier to install as well. For example, a switch. How do we draw a switch? Sometimes we draw it based on the actual appearance but when it comes to electrical diagram or electrical plan there is a certain symbol that represents a switch for an electrician to easily understand in the plan if what kind of fixture is that even our outlet lamp battery plug and even our electric meter in our, our house, there is a certain symbol that represents on these electrical materials and fixtures. Now, here are the common electrical symbols. First, conductor or wire. And this is used to connect the components in a circuit. And this is the common symbol. Whatever the size of it, the symbol is the same. That is, a straight line in our electrical diagram or plan. Now, if two wires are connected, the symbol is like this. Two lines cross its others and with a dot at the center. If two wires cross each other but not connected, the symbol is like this. One line jump to the other line. And that is the symbol for conductor or wire. Next, we have the outlet symbols. First is the duplex convenience outlet. A receptacle in a wall or baseboard for connection to lamps or other electrical appliances. This is the symbol and the picture. It is called as duplex because it has two sets of outlet. We have also the weatherproof outlet. A particular type of electrical outlet that is designed for installation outside the house. And sometimes we call this as an outdoor outlet. This is the symbol and the actual picture. Next is our floor outlet. An electrical outlet whose face is level with or assessed into a floor. This is the symbol and the actual picture. This outlet usually used in a computer laboratory. Next we have the switch symbol. A switch is a device for making and breaking the connection in an electric circuit. Or we use usually this device to put off and on the light. Every house has this. The symbol is like this 
if we are going to make an electrical diagram. S1 if we are going to make an electrical plan. Electrical plan that we are talking about is the blueprint of a certain house or building where the floor plan were drawn and the different electrical devices were laid out. Next, we have the lamp or light bulb symbols. Lamp generates light when current flows through. We use this device to light up our rooms, especially during night time. One type of this is the incandescent lamp and the symbol is like this. We have also the lamp or light bulb and the fluorescent lamp. And we usually use the symbol of incandescent lamp when we make or draw a diagram or plan. Okay. Next, we have the mail plug and, uh, and electrical devices with two or three pins that is inserted in a socket to make an electrical connection. So every electrical appliances has a mail plug to conduct or generate current supply from the socket or outlet. And this is the symbol and picture. Next, we have the fuse. It disconnects when current above threshold. Used to protect circuit from high current. And this is the symbol. And the example of a fuse. We use fuse not only in our house even in our appliances and even our car. Next, we have the circuit breaker. An autom automatically operated electrical switch designed to protect an electrical circuit from damage caused by excess current from an overload or short circuit. Its basic function is to interrupt current flow after a fault is detected and this is the symbol and the picture next we have the buzzer this is a kind of voice device that converts audio model to sound signal it is mainly used to prompt or alarm so that is the buzzer Next, we have the speaker, a device for converting electrical energy in acoustical signal energy that is radiated into a room or open air. We usually found a speaker in our television, radio sets, and in a DVD components. And this is the symbol and the actual picture. Next, we have the power supply symbols. Most common power supply that we have is a cell. Cell is a single unit which converts chemical energy to electrical energy. It is usually light and compact as it, it has single unit. And a battery which consists of a group of cells. It can be a primary or secondary battery, meaning it is rechargeable or non-rechargeable. And these are the symbols. The battery that we are familiar with and we usually use this in the wall clock, in the remote of a TV, in a toy car, is what we call as cell. A cell can produce an electric energy to a certain device in a short period of time. While a battery can produce or give an electric energy to a certain device in a long period of time. That's why this is used usually in our car. Next is the antenna. It is an electrical device which converts electric 
power into a radio waves and vice versa. We use usually antenna to receive signals from TV and radio stations. And this is the symbol and the actual appearance or picture. Next is the resistor. It reduces or limits the current flow and the symbol is like this. The actual resistor looks like this. As you notice, there are colors coded in the body. Every color coded, there is corresponding numerical value that represents the resistance of the resistor. Next is the capacitor. It is used to store electric charge. Since it stores electric charge, it is usually used in our electrical appliances. And this is the symbol in the actual picture. Next, we have the ammeter. It is a measuring instrument used to measure the current in a circuit. So this is the example of an ammeter and its symbol. While the voltmeter, it means an instrument used to measure the voltage in a circuit and this is the example of the voltmeter and the symbol next we have the galvanometer it is an electromechanical measuring instrument for electric current and this is the sample picture and the symbol wattmeter is an instrument for measuring the electric power or the supply rate of electrical energy in watts of any given circuit and this is the symbol and the actual picture and lastly we have the kilowatt hour meter the electric meter that measures the amount of electrical energy in kilowatt hour that was consumed in the house and this is usually found outside of our house and that measures our consumed current and this is the symbol and the actual picture so that's it i hope you learned something in this video thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell button to notify you for the incoming videos. See you in the next electrical installation and maintenance exploration. Goodbye.